Welcome back. I'm Virginia Webb with MountainHoney.com. That's MTNHoney.com. I've been entering honey shows for more than 25 years and have received more than 100 awards, including two Best in the World awards for my Sourwood Honey at the World Honey Show sponsored by the Apamundia. This is the second of the four-part series of preparing honey show entries. I'm going to show you today on how to prepare your chunk honey for show. Before preparing your honey entry, please read the rules of the honey show. Many honey shows require specific jars to be used, like a wide mouth pint, a wigwam jar, or a straight shoulder jar for chunk honey. You may also be required to submit a pair or even three or four jars of honey for judging. Again, it's best to read the rules carefully before preparing your honey for entry. Chunk or cut comb honey is a difficult entry to get right, so it's important that you do everything correctly to make your entry achieve the highest possible score. You must first prepare your honey supers for cut comb. Use only the thin foundation without wires for cut comb. I find it best to add comb supers on the bees just as the honey flow begins. Having surplus nectar come into the hive will simulate the bees to draw the wax out for foundation. As the bees fill and complete capping the super, I remove the super and carry it into the honey house. The color of your chunk honey should be the same color as the strained honey in the jar, so you will need to harvest your strained honey to pour around your chunk honey at the same time. Demonstration on how to strain your honey for show is from the first video of this series. You may want to review that video on how to strain your honey for show. Select your best jars and lid for the honey show. Select the jars and lids that match, especially when you have a class that requires two or more jars per entry. Hand wash the jars and the lid in very hot water. Allow to air dry upside down. Never dry the inside with a cloth because fiber strands can be left behind and may show up in the honey later. Items I use to cut chunk honey are a cutting board that will allow the honey to drain, a hot plate with a small pan of hot water, and a very sharp knife. Place your show jar in a pan with about two inches of very hot water. You're only wanting to heat the bottom of the jar. Cut the entire frame of honey. This is especially important if you are cutting two or more jars for show. It is best that all pieces of honeycomb come from one frame. Each time that I cut, I'm going to wipe my knife clean. You want to make sure that the comb fits perfectly in the jar. After cutting the comb, let it drain for several minutes. Comb honey has an upside and a downside. Make sure your comb honey is up where the cells of the honeycomb are faced up like this. If they're face down, air bubbles can be trapped in the honey. This is a little trick I use when preparing chunk honey for show. A jar is made in two sections with a seam holding the jar together. I've highlighted that in black on this jar. I place the spine or the original honeycomb foundation so that it is even with the seam of the jar. The honey looks better in the jar with the seam and spine together. You do not want a jar with honeycomb that is only a small sliver or that the honeycomb is too wide that when you, have, when you put it in the jar you have to force it in. 
gently place the honeycomb into the jar. Now fill the jar with liquid honey around it. Next, I place saran wrap over the top of the jar and the lid. Just before you enter your honey into the show, remove the plastic wrap on top of the jar. Then wipe the jar down with a soft cloth. If possible, use gloves when handing the honey to the recording secretary for entry. Good luck with all your honey show entries. Thank you for watching. This is Virginia Webb of mountainhoney.com. That's mtnhoney.com. Make all your honey and beeswax items show quality. Have a honey of a day.